Hey what's up guys JBLC here and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're building ourselves an underwater survival base. I've never done anything like this before so this is my first time building something like this. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do slap the like button and also subscribe and let's get right into the video. For the item list this is all the items that we're going to require for this build. Now the items may vary a little bit uh, the quantity of them but I tried my best as much as I can just to get the perfect amount for this entire build. So all of these are going to be involved in our build. So make sure you guys have all of these builds just before we start building in case you you know we have to take a break to go ahead and you know mine some quartz or whatever so yeah prepare yourself before you start building and let's get right into it okay so let's begin so i started off by making myself a nice little outline here in the water of course and it's basically like an eight by like eight um nothing too difficult i also added some leaves just to make it a little bit more um i don't know natural it's basically not very complicated just get a bunch of leaves and make yourself a nice little area and you should be good to go anyways let's get start building okay so I'm gonna go ahead and um, yeah I have like an 8x8 eight eight, I think so so I'm gonna go ahead and just build one block off the wall and I'm gonna break one two three four five six oops six there we go and we're gonna go six up as well so the, counting this one one two three four five six and we can make ourselves a nice little square and this is where um, our glass is gonna go so I can actually put this in right now and this is where this is the basically how um bigger base is going to be it's going to be a six by six of course we're gonna have like um rooms and stuff so well not rooms but like we're gonna have like on the side of the walls here we're gonna have like different areas so it's gonna be a little bit bigger but yeah a six by six of glass that's perfect and then we're gonna go ahead and use our spruce here and make ourselves a nice little outline as well so something like this around the entire build Make sure all the spruce logs are kind of facing the right way. So it should be something like this. Like that. And it might sound a little bit like loud because I'm underwater and you can hear all that water stuff. I don't know how to remove it. Um, I think it's part of the blocks. Um, like sound in the settings. That's why I don't really want to remove the block sound. So we're going to have to, <laughs> we're going to have to like work through it for now. Um, but anyways, basically that's how it should look. And go ahead and place your smooth smooth stairs upside down like this and then we can go ahead and grab ourselves the slabs and put them like this there we go and get ourselves some trapdoors and just place them in this kind of format here like that there we go basically one block off the stairs and we should get something like this already looking pretty good and we, that's basically i think so it for <laughs> the outside of it i think that's pretty much how it's supposed to look and then we're gonna go inside and yeah obviously as well get yourself a bucket of water and just fill up all the gaps that you see here from the trap doors and the stairs just fill it all up we don't want to see them like that there we go and there's one more here and just one more here or something i don't know anyways uh, as well as that actually get yourself trap doors and just place them all like this all inside of the the base here or the outline and of course fill it with water again there we go i think that's it and the base should look something like this on the outside we're getting a lovely view to the coral reef here which is absolutely gorgeous the seed will be down in the description below as well but um, yeah, let's walk inside and actually start building the inside, the interior here. So I'm just putting my glass back in here. Let me just destroy a couple of blocks here. I'm actually going to get myself a lantern as well, just to get some light. We don't need this water bucket anymore. And I'm just going to place it here for now, just to give us some light. And yeah, basically what we have to do here is from this block, from the glass, well not from the glass block, the one just beside it, we have to go eight blocks in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's our base here and we have to just basically dig out all of this entirely up to the very top of this stair so basically do yourself a nice big square um not very like not too much digging if you have a good pickaxe um it would take you literally like maybe two minutes max it's not really you know it's not much of digging it's just an eight by eight uh, or eight by six and um yeah anyways i'm gonna do this real quick and i'll be back uh, with you guys shortly 
Okay, so I've just dug myself out a room 8x6 and this is how it's supposed to look right now. We've got a nice lovely view to the coral reef and yeah, we still have to do a little bit more digging because we need to remove all these walls because we're going to be replacing them of course. So yeah, you guys, if you guys want, you guys can just um, remove all of this right now just so we don't have to do this later on. So basically just remove one more layer from the wall. Uh, so for example, like there's one more layer. I'm going to actually destroy this as well. And then we can we can leave this one here and we can just break this off like that. And there we go. We should have something like this so far. So now we can actually start building something. So I'm going to go ahead and extend this one by one more of uh, spruce here and do the same thing on this side. Just like so. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to remove <laughs> another layer because we need the floor and we need the ceiling as well. So. Uh, for the floor over here, I think I'm gonna let's break this. I'm gonna go ahead and use myself strip spruce and just kind of do like a nice wee outline around the base again, even on the top here. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. There we go, and this should look something like this. And yeah, we have to remove all of this just to make the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually. Um, use my wallet axe here just because i can so set this to five and there we go it should be oak by the way so just replace all of these uh to oak and then the ceiling we can just leave for now but we can actually remove it just because we're going to be uh, removing it anyway so i'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick and there we go so that's um how it's supposed to look if you guys want this mod as well of the world leather axe uh, it'll be down in the description below it's just a very handy tool to build basically um yeah, it's just much faster and if you know how to use it, um, it's just a game changer. So yeah, I would just advise it to use it on creative mode. I wouldn't re actually, or creative mode, I wouldn't actually use it on survival because that's just, that's just cheating because you can just, you know, duplicate yourself diamonds and stuff. But um, yeah, anyways, let's get into building again. So we're going to go ahead and leave ourselves a one, two, three gap and place one in the middle. And then one, two, three and place yourself one in the middle again. And it's supposed to look like this and we can do something like that and do the same thing on this side one two three and place yourself a log as well and there we go it should look something like this now what we can also do is combine or join these up like that same same applies here just join them up like so and that's all right and then we can go ahead and um we can actually replace these as well the floor because we're gonna have to do it eventually just like this and get ourselves spruce stairs and we're gonna put them just like this underneath the underneath the strips stripped uh, spruce logs here and then get ourselves some trap doors and do something like this there we go just to get give it like a like a beam look and get ourselves buttons and place them like so and i actually like that look and then over here we're gonna go ahead and place yourself um i think actually we're gonna leave this for now we're gonna place ourselves the ceiling first so the ceiling is going to be just uh spruce planks here so i'm gonna go ahead and replace all of these like this that's the way it's supposed to look and we can go ahead and place one in here as well Oops, there we go. That should look something like this so far. And over here is going to be obviously our bedroom. I don't actually think we need these. Sorry, that was my bad. I think this is going to have to be uh, smooth quartz eventually. But for now, this is supposed to look something like this and looking pretty good, actually. So let's actually do ourselves the bed area here first before we start doing any of these rooms here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab myself the materials. OK, so we're going to begin with just filling up this entire gap here. So just something like this. With, um, our, with our smooth smooth block here, of course. There we go. And we're gonna place our bed like just something like this. We're gonna place our stairs like that, and then another stair just like this. In here, we're gonna have our armor stands, and we can replace this one with stairs as well. And there we go, we've got a nice little area for our armor stands. Uh, remove these as well with, uh, it could be sp spruce uh, stripped log, or it could just be spruce planks, doesn't really matter. You won't be able to see it anyways. Um, but yeah, that's supposed to look something like this. And we can place our chapters like that and place a chest just like this. And yeah, it looks pretty good. 
and then over here we're gonna have to replace all these and place ourselves water and a slab just like this so that we can put ourselves nice little coral rug here in a second okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just place myself corals like this and this is just the way the, the reason why we added water underneath is because um these need water and if they don't have water they will just die so basically if we put a slab underneath um these will not change color which is uh, just a wee life hack and then we can go ahead and place our armor stands and just fill it up with whatever armor you want i'm just going to use diamond because uh, i'm pretty much rich and creative so i'm just going to go ahead and place myself two diamond armors and that looks pretty good we need some lanterns so we can go ahead and place these just like this and i think this is completed now so this is our sleeping area where we can you know sleep and watch the lovely view outside as well and yeah that's pretty much it for this area and over here we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves another um stair here and just kind of fill up this area so we're gonna go ahead and do something like this uh we're also gonna put our stairs just like that and yeah this is supposed to look something like this and we can go ahead and get ourselves the plank here and another lantern and just place it in the middle a lantern and more stairs like this and this should look something like this pretty good pretty good and yeah basically we're just gonna do the same thing on all of these so i'm just gonna do something like that cover that up like this and yeah that should look something like this we've got enough light now um to kind of light up the place obviously i'm gonna destroy this one but for now this is looking pretty good okay let's start off with uh, our i guess our storage area here so i'm gonna go ahead and place myself another stair just like so and i'm going to remove all of these i'm going to place chests and barrels of course so oh yeah by the way we need barrels so hope we need to place ourselves a barrel underneath here as well you don't have to you can place anything you want but for extra storage why not and there we go that's completed now uh yeah let's get ourselves a chest and place barrels just like this pretty simple design and uh, yeah we can just place our chests in here replace this block we don't really need to replace the stone you can see it but not really much but if you want you guys can you know we can replace it if you want and place your thing like that and there we go we've got a nice little storage area here um it's, i think i guess it's enough for um like a starter base kind of thing you can also you know always make more storage if you guys want to but um yeah i'm just gonna leave it like that plenty of storage for now i'm happy enough with that so let's go ahead and do yourself the smart smelting area now so replace all of these blocks once again there we go and get ourselves obviously furnace and stuff okay so i got myself the three furnaces i'm just gonna go ahead and place them just like so uh also remove this block with the uh, strip spruce again so we don't have to see the stone here and should look something like that and then we can also uh, do yourself a nice little design here i think i'm gonna go for this block here and place yourself one like that and i guess no we're actually we're gonna replace this and we can place ourselves like stone bricks here and the stone bricks there just like that and it looks pretty good and then we can place ourselves chop doors and even two more lanterns and um, just to give us more light and we will need some spruce planks and just replace the you know behind with some spruce planks so we don't actually see the stone and that looks pretty good and we can also get ourselves a trapdoor here so i'm just gonna give myself a quick trapdoor i'll use the jungle one for this one and yeah it looks actually pretty good i like this design and i'm gonna leave it uh, so basically that's our storage room and our uh, smelting area completed now we can actually work on our enchantment table so obviously i'm gonna have to go ahead and grab myself an enchantment table and some books okay so let's start digging our nice little enchantment table area gonna go ahead and dig out a couple of blocks because we're gonna need a decent enough space replace this block with strips spruce as well as this one just so that kind of matches the the opposite side here and get ourselves oak planks and our enchantment table is probably gonna stand here so i can place it right now and replace all of these blocks obviously with bookshelves so we got something like this we actually have to go one more deeper and this is level 30 enchantment so i'm going to guys show you guys in a second here uh, we can also remove this one like that and make it a three high bookshelf just because we want that level 30 enchantment and then replace all of these with some planks looks pretty good and then we can break all of this and you know do our 
design here again. So I think I'm going to go and do something like this this time. Kind of like stairs surrounding it. There we go. And over here, we can just replace this one again. And over on top over here, we can just um, pick this off. And we can actually put ourselves some barrels in here just for extra storage once again. Yeah, it looks pretty good actually. And get ourselves a glowstone in here just for some extra light and place a chapter on top of it. And then we can get ourselves an anvil with some leaves. And there we go. I think this is level 30. Yeah, it's level 30. Pretty good. Looks pretty nice as well. So yeah, we can't really walk in here. We can obviously jump over if you guys want to, but we don't really need to get in there. We have access to the enchantment table. We have access to all the barrels here, even the ones in the corner. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty much our enchantment table finished now. So we've got smelting, storage, and an enchantment table with a nice little bed. So we're left with just our crafting area. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my materials right now. And we can start you know, building our crafting area. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dig out another area. And place our crafting table. Uh, we, yeah, we need we need this floor here. And then place our ender, ender chest here with a smithy. And then we can go ahead and place our trap doors like, like so. Place our grindstone, stone cutter, and a nice little bell here. Why not? And then obviously replace these blocks with some strip spruce logs again. There we go. And get ourselves some stairs again. And kind of do the same design that we did. With the smelting area, place your block here and place another lantern, just like so. Actually, we can replace these like that. That looks better. And we're gonna need our spruce planks for behind of it, just so we don't see the stone. And just some some more right here. And that looks pretty good. So we've got all of our you know crafting resources here, and we got our storage, some you know, some chests here, armor stands, barrels. We got our enchantment table, smelting, and we got our crafting area. Now we can go ahead and decorate this place a bit. So we can break this light here. And we're going to go ahead and put, put ourselves a nice wee rug here. Using some glowstone and carpet just to hide, um, hide, hide the glowstone, of course. And just do something like this. There we go. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a nice fence as well. With some leaves just to... Add a little bit more decoration so if we can place it just like this with some leaves and also place two leaves on top of on the middle of the you know the ceiling here and same applies here and yeah that's pretty much it now all we have to do oh actually we can place chapters just like this on each side we can even place a button if you guys want to i'm gonna go ahead and actually do that that looks actually a lot better and now we need our entrance, of course. So we're going to have to kind of, um, we're going to do it right here. Basically, we're going to just break this and dig up all the way up. There we go. So this was my previous entrance, uh, the one that I was showing you guys. Um, at the, well, I wasn't showing you guys, but I was just uh, when I was doing my intro, because obviously I built this before. And the, yeah, that's basically where our entrance is going to be. We can actually place this here, get ourselves a nice lantern so we don't like actually ever lose it. Just place a lantern on top of this, get ourselves a trapdoor, place it right here, and just get ourselves some ladders to go down. Just a simple entrance, you guys can, you know, decide on um, better ones, but I'm just going to go with the stairs here for a simple little entrance, and we can just, you know, go up and down. Oops, I missed one. There we go. Uh, we can just replace this as well with some spruce, and maybe even this layer. There we go and that's our entrance uh, to the base completed now we've got a lovely view onto the coral here we've got you know everything we need the only thing we don't have is a nether portal but um i guess you could fit it in somewhere you can even fit it in there if you really want to uh you know just break this off and do like a you know portal dimension there and just you know um, I think that would look pretty cool as well. I'm going to also put myself carpets in the middle. Oh, actually, we don't, we don't need one here. Just carpets like this. Um, kind of like where our, you know, stuff is. Like storage and crafting and smelting and stuff. And that will do it for the base.
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys like and subscribe. It would help the channel out a lot. And also comment down below if you guys are actually building this in your own world, in your creative or survival. I don't really mind, but that would be um, epic if you guys actually did. That would be, you know, that would be pretty cool and I would uh, appreciate it. But um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.